Hey guys, welcome to a new deck check video. Today I'm going to bring you a list that got me third place at a local league cup the other weekend. Uh, it's a Vika Bulu list, list, so it, you know, it utilizes the Vika Volt with strong charge, power up the Bulu, and maybe even just a few other little tech cards. I'm going to go through the list and I'll tell you what helped, what I would change, all stuff like that. This is the exact list I ran, the four grubbin, usually decks run three, some only run one charge a bug. Uh, three vehicle volt. I tried to get two out per game, just because sometimes I'd use one to attack. It'd be pretty useful, it helped me out a lot in the nine tails match, with the um, the new nine tails, I think I have one right here, with uh, Luminous, Luminous Bear, Barrier, <laughs> or just a beam to GX's. I was dealing 150 to it, it was just easy knockout. But Vika Volt itself, the regular one, has the ability Strong Charge, where once during your turn, you can search your deck for a basic, or for a grass and electric energy, attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So you can ramp up 2 energy per turn, plus 1 per from your hand, that's 3 energy. Uh, the main synergy is with Tapu Bulu, uh, with its second attack, Nature's Judgment. 2 grass and a colorless, does 120, uh, and if you discard all the energy from it, it does 60 more damage, so it does 180 per turn, which you're able to ramp up pretty easily just by looking for energy and attaching a grass one from your hand. Um, I ran a Vikavolt GX, mainly because I only had two Bulus, and Vikavolt basically does the same thing, but also because I thought its GX attack was pretty relevant in the current meta. With a lot of basics, um, like evolving, uh, having 60 HP, like Vulpix, uh, Matang, uh, Slazzle if I use the Tapu Coco first, Flying Flip. Uh, so it's a GX attack actually got me like three prizes in one game, which was pretty awesome. But it's also its second attack as well, it is basically the same thing as Tapu Bulu's, except it's for four energy and you only discard two. It still does 180, it only requires one electric, so you can touch the other three energies, whatever kind you want. That's pretty strong, it helped me out a bunch, a few games, also really tanky. 240 HP, 180 damage, that was pretty strong. Another tech card I ran was the Tapu Coco GX. Uh, it's Arrow Trail ability, where it can become your active if you move an electric energy to it when you play it. It's very strong. Especially against Gardevoir with its GX attack, uh, Tapu Thunder. That's 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. Obviously Gardevoir attaches a lot of energy, even Darkrai. I never played Darkrai, but against Gardevoir it was pretty good. Tapu Coco, you know, just free retreat if something gets knocked out. Just pop that guy up, don't need to rely on a floatstone or anything. It's Flying Flip helped out a lot too. It also, Electric Ball, I can actually use that attack, running Electric Energy, so I think I did that once. Uh, I don't think it did much, but I used Electric Ball once throughout the whole tournament. Whatever, best of three rounds, never really used it. Two Tapu Lele, you know, just for the setup. Very strong, very good. It's, uh, energy Drive also is relevant in this deck. The Supporter line, I ran. Uh, 3 Sycamore, 3N, uh, just two really good draw supporters. 2 Guzmas to pull stuff up. Uh, 2 Acerolas, in case you know the Bulu got too damaged, or the Coco, or even a Vika uh, Volt, something like that, you know, just to pull something back and re evolve it, replay it, whatever. Deny surprises. Uh, Bridget, you know, for the turn one, I just put down, say, 2 Grubbin and a Bulu, or a Grubbin, a Bulu, and a Coco, whatever, depending on the matchup. Most of the time I'd go for two Grubbins and a Bulu, but sometimes I wouldn't. Uh, fan Club, because Fan Club, you can actually get the on-play ability. So like Wonder Tag and Arrow Trail, you can get both those abilities when you play it. Whereas if you were to bridge it out Cap Coco, its Arrow Trail ability wouldn't activate. So we're running fan club, I could Lele for say a fan club, and then get a Coco and a Bulu, or a Coco and another Lele for next turn if I had to. Just add that versatility. It's also decent turn one, you know, if you don't want to bridge it, or say bridge it's prized, 
give the fan club and get two other basics out. It's like a slightly weaker bridge on turn one, but it helped out quite a bit searching for Coco or Lele or whatever I actually needed to get. My item line are in three rare candies, uh, just because it helps out a lot. I'm trying to get the Vika Volt and uh, Charger Bug out as quickly as you can. I only ran two Charger Bug just because I couldn't really depend on the rare candy, but also didn't want to depend on Charger Bug. It's kind of like a happy, happy in between. I think three and two is pretty good. Four Ultra Balls. I wanted to get turn one Lele if I had to, unless start with, uh, start with Bridget or something in hand. You know, Ultra Ball searches for anything. There's quite a few Pokemon in here you want to search for. Iron Heavy Ball. That's a, one of my favorite cards. I think it's really strong. You can search your deck for a Pokemon with a treat cost of three or more and just put it in your hand. You don't have to discard. There's no, there's no drawback really, especially in this deck where Charge of Bug, Vehicle Volt, and Tapu Bulu all have a retreat cost of three. Let's just search your deck for a Bulu, Vehicle Volt, or Charge of Bug and put it in your hand, which again is really good. Especially with the rare candy, I can just rare candy up a Vehicle Volt, or I can just, if a Bulu dies, I can just heavy ball for another one or whatever. I ran a town map. Uh, town map in this list was kind of a mistake on my part. <laughs> I, I wanted to play it, but I also thought I was running two field blowers. So I put it, I'm like, okay, I have another slot, I'll put in another town map. I'll put in a town map, just for the memes. But I didn't realize I actually had one field blower. So <laughs> when I gave in my list, I realized, oh shit, I only have one. Oh well, I guess I'm playing with town map. And it helped, for sure. Again, just a Garbodor list, I got really lucky. Or a SP on Garbodor matchup. Got really lucky and always drew into field lore whenever I needed it. So I was pretty lucky on my end. But I'd definitely cut a town map for a field blower if I were to play this again. Uh, two energy recyclers, because with Vika Volt GX's attack as well as Tapu Bulu's attack, both of these two, you go through energy super fast um, and you end up running out, which actually happened quite a bit. I had to wait until I top decked or drew into a uh, energy recycler so I could start strong charging again. So that that's definitely you need two of these. One I don't think is enough because you know, I, dis I discarded one at least half the games. I discarded one early game just so I could get set up. Uh, again, the one field blower should be two. Got the map. Two rescue stretcher. Kind of have a little creative freedom with these. You could run one one with a super rod. So one stretcher, one super rod. You run the two stretchers. I chose to run the two stretchers seeing as I had two energy recyclers. Didn't really need a shuffle. Uh, any really Pokemon or uh, energy back into my deck. As well as putting a Pokemon for my discard back into my hand helped out a lot, especially if I discarded like a Vika Volt or something early game. You can just pop it back into my hand. And it's basically as good as new. Uh, for tools, two float stones, three choice band. Only two float stones because I had the Coco with the free retreat, as well as I had uh, Acerolas, I had Guzmas. So retreating wasn't the worst thing in the game. Like it, it went smoothly. I didn't really ever get stuck retreating anywhere. Uh, three choice band just because they're super strong. Volt and Bulu doing 180. So giving it that 210 option enables it to kill like say uh, Nine Tails and Lurantis, Slazzles, all those like 200 HP, uh, EVs, all that stuff. Just helped out a lot. Super good guard. Obviously, you want to run at least two or three of them in each deck. For energy count, I ran 6-6. Six, six, so 6 grass, 6 lightning. I think if I were to change it, I would probably go for, say, 7 grass, 5 lightning. And maybe try to cut something to put in, say, 2 DCs. DCs in this matchup probably would have helped me a lot. Seems I wouldn't have had to wait a turn for another strong charge or to draw into a second energy. Seeing as I could just strong ch on these two right here, seeing as I could just strong charge once and then attach a DC and I'd be ready to attack with either of their attacks. So I think DC is pretty good in this deck. Uh, I don't know what exactly I'd cut. Maybe I'd go four and a half. Four electric's not enough. Maybe I'd say I'd go five, no, six, six and five. With the electric, maybe just run the uh, cut the fan club perhaps, and maybe even with that, just cut the Coco. I'm not sure. Maybe replace the Coco with a Bulu if you have three. 
but I don't, I'm not too sure what I would cut. But I definitely want to put in a few DCE, at least probably two. I think that's solid. Uh, it can help out whenever you need it. If not, again, you still have strong charge. It's not your main thing, but it's going to something, something that'll definitely help out a lot. But yeah, this is the list that got me third place. Got me uh, 47. Total of 47 championship points so far. It's, uh, hopefully I get up to 400 and I'm going to make it to Worlds. If not, oh well, I tried. Um, but yeah, next week there's a challenge coming up. Not sure what I'm going to play. Probably some Metagross garbage. <laughs> maybe maybe some more Lorantis. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Make these whenever I basically come up with a deck that I think is fun or is worth sharing. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day.